you want to be my friend? All right, everybody. It's March the 22nd, 2023. Headed back up to the lease. It's a Wednesday, so it's an afternoon. Just got off work. Uh, been seeing some hogs on camera on one of our traps for a few weeks now. Baited them up. Tried to drop the gate on them last week, and the gate fell. So we went up yesterday evening, me and Danielle and Josh, my nephew, changed the latch on the gate, changed the phone out in the controller, and got it working to do our part to make the world a better place. One piggy at a time. One piggy at a time. <laughs> Look at the freaking pigs. That's a pile of pork. That's a pile of them. Watch yourself moving out right there. 22 of them, I count. What I counted. Barbecue. Hey, barbecue, come here. Come here. Then name job barbecue, pork chop. You want to be my friend? Hey, y'all might want to get to shooting because they like tearing it up over here. Got about, about 30 debone pig feet right there. What advice can you give them, Bradley? A lot of work. No. The pig feet. Oh, and the pig feet. You just have to cook them down until they come off the bone. This is going in there. We just put the Tonys. This is uh, 50 pounds of meat. Got our garlic going in there. Chop. 
chopped parsley going in there. Makes it healthy right there. Kosher salt. Alright, we're mixing our broth in with it. We boiled about 50 pounds of wild pig meat and uh, saved that broth. We used chicken broth to boil it in and we saved that broth to mix back in with the boudin so it'll stuff easier and won't be all clumpy. Right now we're stirring our seasoning and the broth in. Um, we used 30 pig's feet in this recipe. This was a big recipe. So at the end of the video, I'll put up a, a broken down recipe for, for 10 pounds of meat. This was 50 pounds of meat. So we just multiplied everything times five on the recipe. Ain't no easy way to do it, is it, Michael? You wanna start some or am I doing good? Uh, he didn't do it. <laughs> Go for it. Sure ain't no easy way to do it. Couldn't get in there. Yeah, gotcha. take a fuse off and mash it up with the feet like I do them great. <laughs> you made it well. <laughs> I don't know if I'm on any. You gotta test it. Food in made up. We uh we done put up 61 pounds already. Still working on it. What I do on the food in, I'll show y'all real quick. I just uh run out about that much, put a twist in it. Do it again, put a twist in it. Twist that one a couple more times. We normally cut it. In about three piece sections about like what you would buy in a store um plenty for us most of the time so we'll cut that off only pull that out just get take that and put it in a bowl over here somewhere tie that end right there That's all it is to it. We'll get that one tied, have it ready. We've got three links there ready to go, and I'll just take it like that right there. And we'll slide it. We've got our vacuum seal bags made up over here. We'll take them three pieces like that right there and just slide them in that vacuum seal bag. That's ready to cook right there. All the ingredients in this boudin is 100% cooked already, except for the casing. So all you're doing when you're cooking is just firming the casing up. That's it. We'll vacuum seal that and get it ready to go. Close our machine. to ready to go I don't like to tie this real tight here I like to leave it a little bit slack so it don't pop as bad on the grill or something what we'll do we'll take it actually lay it like that right there and some aluminum foil and just stick it on the grill um, unless you want to put it in the oven you can put it in the oven like that in a Pyrex dish or something all right we got our boot in made up here what we're going to do we're going to make some boudin balls take this small ice cream scooper and just make some balls we're going to put them on this wax paper and freeze them and then once they're chilled or firm or all the way frozen we will take and uh egg wash them and flour them and fry them in the deep fryer and they're going to turn out perfect so that's one of the things you can do with 
boot in with this recipe or if you don't want to make it up yourself you can just buy some boudin in the store and take it out of the casing um, unless you can find some in a bucket somewhere I'm not sure if anybody sells it like that or not but you can definitely take this 10 pound recipe that we're going to put up at the end of the video make your own boudin and you can make these boudin balls or you can stuff it in casing and either way is good um, freezing these just gonna help firm them up make them easier to egg wash and, and uh, fry but you don't have to freeze them you could just egg wash them and fry them up but right now we're not gonna fry them right this minute so it just works out good to go ahead and have them ready and stuck stuck in the freezer all right we got our boudin balls made on our wax paper and we'll go stick them in the freezer we'll let them freeze and then we're going to egg wash them and fry them all right we got some wild pork boudin balls we're going to fix up i'm going to show you how i'm going to fix them what we did we took our boudin we mixed up and froze them on wax paper so these are frozen balls we got some uncle chris's little tony's some garlic powder we got flour we got four eggs we beat the eggs up Go ahead and put a little garlic powder in our flour. We're gonna put some Tony's in there. Our boudin's already seasoned good, so uh, we ain't gotta put a lot in this flour, but we like to put a little seasoning on the flour, put a little bit of that Uncle Chris's on there. Stir all that up. Platter, we're gonna put our boudin balls on. So, like I said, these are frozen, but when we put them right there in that egg batter, that's gonna make that flour stick. You know, the boudin's already cooked, so when we drop them out there in the deep fryer, we got it going, they'll uh, they're gonna fry up real good and nice. It's perfect right there. Now, if you can't find any boudin that's not in a casing, you can take boudin in a casing and just uh, break open the casing and take it out, make you some patties up. Ain't nothing to it. Try one. Look at there. Mm. Got it running down my beard. That's all right. That's as good as it gets right there. We cook a lot of good stuff, but that right there is good. Mm. Just don't get no better than that. Tell you what, that's going to be it for this one. God's Country Hunting Fishing, keeping it real.